Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Play artist, right on dynamite. <laughs> Playing artist, right on dynamite. It's a- MP3 music search, only on Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury vehicles. Sync, say the word. I'm Dr. Kiki reporting for MacBreak here at Macworld. I'm at the iBird Explorer booth with Mitch Waite, and we're talking about an iPhone app that I wish I had had when I was in grad school going out birding all the time, but even now it can help me out when I'm looking in the backyard and want to know what bird I just saw eating the berries in my tree. Mitch, can you tell me a little bit about how this app works? I sure can. Um, well, basically iBird is a way to identify birds when you only know a little bit about the bird. And the uh, idea of it is it uses a search engine that searches for characteristics just of birds. For example, if you're uh, only interested, you saw a bird and it had a red eye, you could use the search engine to only find birds that just had a red eye that are in uh, the state you're in, for example, California. Then if you happen to notice this bird uh, was orange in color, you could select color as an attribute and narrow it down to just the red-eyed birds that have orange bodies in California. Very quickly identify your bird in just a few taps. And this also, it's not just images, it's not just the search engine, you also have sound as well. Yes, you can play the sound of that orange bird with red eyes, and it'll actually attract the bird to you because the iPhone has such great audio, it can actually be heard by the birds. So I've gone into parks and played the sound of a crow, and I've had 15 crows flying around me in five minutes. And that would be another, another thing that grad students studying birds would love to have. Come to my trap, I have an iPhone. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it's, it's very good, although there is some controversy about using bird calls to attract birds. So you have to use it carefully. Um, what else about it? Um, I guess the main... How did, what, where, where did you get the idea to, to come up with the app? Where did, I mean, was this a need that you yeah. felt? It, was, it came from frustration, basically. Um, when I would go on hikes and I'd, be, I'd see a bird I'm interested in, I'd pull out my field guide, and by the time I found the bird in the field guide, the bird was gone. So I couldn't really tell if I'd found the right one. I thought, you know, there had to be a better way to do this. And that's when I started thinking about, well, maybe you could use the intelligence of the mobile device to help you find the bird. So go from page turning technology to something using a search engine. And the search engine, is all of this in the phone or is this a web app? It's very important that it be in the phone because when you're out in the field, there are no cell networks. There's no Wi-Fi. So it's all a big embedded application. About 400 megabytes. Wow! So that uh, you need to have some a little bit of free memory in the well, in the. It's fo- about the it's about the size of two albums essentially. So if, you know, you half a megabyte in a 16 gigabyte phone doesn't take up that much room. And can you sh- run me through this a little bit? Give me a, a cup, a little tour of the application. So basically, you have all the birds of North America, and you can scroll through them by just flicking your finger like that. And if you're interested in actually seeing a bird, you just tap on it and it takes you to what's called the species page for this bird. And you have all these different parameters that you can use to look at this bird, including information like uh, photographs, like this. You can also look at these drawings that we've made up of every single bird. This is the uh, acorn woodpecker. And these are all hand-drawn by artists in the Ukraine of all places. So are these these original, uh, oh, original you have? art that's taken me about six years to put together. Wow. There's about and the songs as well are recorded especially for this. Yes, the songs are all specially recorded. And then it, it, those two things are very difficult to do. Drawing a bird is not an easy thing to do. No. Feathers, feathers are very complicated. <laughs> um, we also have for every bird, we have range maps. So you can see where they are. We have s- uh, this thing called similar birds. So if you thought it was an acorn woodpecker, but you weren't sure, you could click on another similar bird and go right to that, that page and see what it looks like. And then one of the neatest things is you can rotate. No, probably not doing this for you. Well, you. You can rotate through the birds with this little button here. And you can very quickly see if it's the one that you noticed. And you can also listen to the song to see if it's the bird that you heard. Yeah, you can listen to the song. You can also go to Wikipedia, and it will look up the species on Wikipedia for you. It'll also look up the bird on Flickr, and you can see, you know, 10,000 photographs of the acorn woodpecker, all on this one little device. So what this does, mostly for birders and for photographers, too, is it allows them to leave all these books home that they normally do not like to carry around with them. Right. How much does this cost? Well, it ranges in price from free which is sort of a demo version with 15 birds, 
to we have a five dollar backyard bird version and then we have one that goes from uh, regions of North America that's ten dollars and then we have a twenty dollar professional version that sounds really reasonable actually for all that information for the the songs the images the the search engine all of the the aspects of it. a lot of people said how did you come up with that price be in a world of one dollar apps how did you pick twenty dollars and what I did I based it on the idea that when you're buying a field guide, you're spending about 20 to $25. So if you could get something that's equivalent of 14 field guides in a device this small, $25 or $20 is a pretty good deal. It's a very good deal. Where can people find it online? Um, basically at the iTunes App Store. They just type in bird and it'll show right at the top. Thank you very much. I appreciated this little tour. And I'm Dr. Kiki. I'm going birding. Have fun.